when my stepdad was diagnosed with prostate cancer, what do you think happened? Did everybody just say, oh, it's too bad? And then go about their daily routines? No, no, the family mobilized. We wanted to do something. We wanted to try to control the outcome, right? So what did we do? Went to Google. Now Google becomes the director. So we go to Google and what do we type in? The best prostate cancer treatment centers. Best prostate cancer treatment doctors. Did I type in cancer treatment centers? No, we type in specifically what we're looking for. So I did that. I redid this, recreated the search for you guys. I wanted you to see it. I recreated it. And what we get is we get ads and we get business listings, okay, and we get SEO. You guys see that? The ads are the worst. Like, I'm pretty specific. I want the best prostate cancer treatment centers. Okay? And the ads are the, actually the work. Look at this ad. Uh, Emory Proton Therapy Center. The heck is that? I need prostate cancer treatment for my stepdad. I don't know what Emory Proton stuff is. Do you guys? Maybe you do if you've been down this road. MD Anderson Cancer Center. Number one ranked cancer center. I need number one ranked prostate cancer. Center. Is that, you guys with me? We would all agree, right? Look at the business listings. Okay, medical clinics. Are you kidding me? Medical clinics. All right, there's Georgia Cancer Center Specialist. There's Northside Hospital Cancer Institute. Emory St. Joseph Hospital Prostate Cancer Center. Which one am I going to click on? I'm going to click on the uh, Emory St. Joseph Hospital Cancer Treatment. That's what I'm going to click on. That's the only business listing that actually talks about what I most want in its business listing. Nobody else does. It could be that Northside or Georgia Cancer Center Specialists at Kennestone are the best. It could very well be that. But they have poor brand positioning when it comes to the very thing that I need and need help with. Now, get into the SEO. You better be smoking good here. All right, you better be smoking good at this because Google is good at it and there are more and more real estate companies and agencies that are really good at this. Okay, now look at this search result just on prostate, best prostate cancer center. They all say they are. So when they all say they're, that this is what they do and specialize in, who gets to click? Who gets to click? The top one? No, who gets to click? Who? And here's the who's, MD Anderson, northside.com, windshipcancer.emory, and UCSFH or F Health. Who gets to click now? That's what I'm getting at, is I'm going to click on the who that is the best. And there's only one, and it's windshipcancer.emory. That's the only URL that represents what I need help with. The other URLs don't. So what's being demonstrated is that there are businesses that don't specialize in this. They do other things. This is how millennials are making decisions today. So when your URL is toddwalters.com, your home sold guaranteed or I'll buy it, you're gonna lose. You've lost that game immediately because the millennials like, why would I click on Todd Walters? I don't even, he's just claiming that he does this. Your URL has to match your business name or you don't have page rankings in Google, on Google business. Is that right? Your page ranking gets diminished. You guys know that? Okay, some of you guys don't have that. You don't even have that. Your URL, your website doesn't even match your company name. Something completely different. And Google's like, I don't know what these guys do. So I can't like even put them in the search result. Or if I have to, I'm going to move them way down or I'm going to charge them more. So there's all kinds of disconnections. But you're the one, listen, you guys are the ones that said you wanted a business. That's why we're doing this session. Nobody said I wanted a job. Nobody even said I wanted to make my team better. Everybody said, I want a business. And business is about ownership. And how do you make your business better? I'm sharing it with you right now. If you have a brand position problem, fix it. How do you fix it? You have to change it. Is there a better brand that you can come up with and do that? Or you can use ours for 10,000 bucks a year. And you'll make that back, what, 
the first click. And these guys will tell you that here in a minute. Okay, how about this one? Check this out. Sell my home in Sevierville, Tennessee. Look at the business listings. I got two choices. I got your home sold guaranteed, and I have Nexus home buyers. All right? There's only two choices. There's three, but the other one's just eliminated right away. All right, guaranteed home sale in Severe Bill. There you go. Who are you going to click on? You're going to click on Zillow? You're going to click on Facebook? You're going to click on your home sale guaranteed? Everybody knows who Facebook is. They don't sell anything. It's an endorsement. Facebook says to go with your home sale guaranteed realty. That's the way the millennial sees it. It's an endorsement. Guaranteed home sale in Rhode Island. There's no, no competition. It's just crushing everybody. So far out in front, this guy. Just, they're not even in the same universe anymore. Trulia, Zillow, Open Door, OfferPad. Do you guys want to compete against those folks? You don't have their money, do you? So what do you do? You outplay the game. You play the game a different way. That's how you win. When we were playing a team that was really good back in the softball days, uh, we'd be playing another team and they were really good. How are we going to win the game if they're, quote, better for us man for man? We have to play the game a different way. And that's how you do that. You play the game differently. And is it, is, is it really as easy as just kind of flipping around the name of the company? Is, can it really be that simple? And the answer is it typically is really just one thing that you change and it changes the trajectory of your entire life. So, yes, it is that simple. It's never been complicated. If it's complicated, it doesn't work. So your ads are not the problem. Never have been. They've always worked. It's who's running the ads. The sponsor of the ad. That is likely your biggest challenge and problem and something that you've got to face. And if Craig and I don't get here with some of our favorite people on, the on planet Earth, if we don't have a candid conversation with you, who's going to? All right? Just don't get mad at us for being the messenger of, yeah, you got issues. You got to fix them. All right? A fix sometimes requires change. Okay? So that's what we've done. This can really only be done with a brokerage name change. All right. So, uh, for example, uh, when I go to Apple, no, no, I go to Home Depot. You guys ever go to Home Depot? Okay, I go to Home Depot. And when I go to Home Depot, um, I walk in and I say, hey, is uh, John, you know, sales guy here? And Home Depot says, no, he's not here anymore. He went to Lowe's. Ah, oh, do I like leave and go to Lowe's? No, I just buy my stuff at Home Depot. Just get a new sales guy. All right, was John the brand or was Home Depot the brand? Right, is the salesperson at Amazon the brand or is Amazon the brand? Amazon. The agent at Keller Williams, are they the brand or is Keller Williams the brand? Keller Williams is the brand. It's always been that way. So when you get your real estate license and you join a company, you bought a brand. You did. That's why you were like, do I go to Remax or do I Keller Williams? And this is in your mind. And you probably settled on them just based on some services that they offer. You didn't know it was going to be the undoing of your real estate company. Right? Nobody does. Because you're a renter. You're not thinking that way. You're thinking about renting. You're not thinking about ownership. If you were thinking about ownership, you probably would do it a different way.